This is way. also, a, I think, a pretty strong apologetic chip. What I mean by that is- I think is, it is the biggest apologetic in the yeah. world that there is divine authorship of scripture, period. Yeah, because how does all this come together over 1,500 years by people who didn't live at the same time? And we've got about 40 authors of, of this collection that we call the Bible spread over 1,500 years from different people at different times in different places. And this is a tapestry woven by or through those people, I should say. There's got to be some sort of divine hand here, don't you think? There's, there's no question to me. Um, you, you, I don't think you can read. You, you and me couldn't go to a library in America. I don't care what library we went to and pick 66 books off of the shelf mm -hmm. and open them all up and have the themes that ran through all of those 66 books like you see in Scripture. There has to be a divine mind that was behind all of this. I mean, Paul says it's he uses the word theonoustos, that Scripture's God breathed. And, and I think that's true. It doesn't take away from the human authorship. It doesn't take away that Luke's got better Greek than Mark does. It, it, none of those things change. But somehow in the providence of God, God was orchestrating the way these, these passages and Scriptures were. Um, I mean, Luke gathered them. He tells us in Luke 1, 1 through 4, he gathered them. But somehow God put this thing together in a way where there is thematic unity all the way through. I mean, think about it. The Bible starts with a wedding in the garden and ends with a wedding in a garden. I mean, mm. how's that happen? How's that right. happen? 